Thank you. Now, Honorable Member Srimadhi Supriya Sulehi. Sir, your eyes. Stand here on behalf of the NCP here for this very important discussion which was actually started by the Honorable Prime Minister on a very emotional note. And he, after a long time today, spoke as a statesman. So I was presuming that this debate was not about the Tutu Meme, which we usually do. But unfortunately, when the Treasury bench started speaking, he made it really political, which was not what the Honorable Prime Minister's speech said. So I will follow the Prime Minister's speech first, but I will seek your help, guidance and time for two minutes to give a few clarifications to the Honorable. I won't speak as much as he does, but yes. in a small few clarifications before yes. I make it little yes. political with your permission, sir. Sir, India is the largest democracy in the world. Democracy, freedom, secularism, fraternity, equality. This is what B. R. Ambedkar ji gave us in this constitution, which we are all so proud of. And this is what this organization, the temple of democracy parliament, where we all are absolutely blessed that we have had the opportunity to speak on behalf of millions of Indians, to debate, deliberate, have discussions, and make sure that the last person becomes first. And that's what really the common agenda, I think, whether you're sitting on this side or the, this side becomes. And I appreciate the Honorable Prime Minister's speech today where he appreciated that governance is continuity. Various people have contributed over the last seven decades to build this country, which we all love equally. It's not that whichever side you love it less or more. Whether you call it India or Bharat, it's your own country. We're all born here. We're all blessed to be here. And I think I would take the forward, point forward what Mehtab ji said, that unity in diversity, this is the beauty of India. And I think that's what clearly comes across in most of the speeches which came. And I'd like to quote uh, Dr. Ambedkar. He's, the B.R. Ambedkar in the Constitution Assembly said that the Constitution is a federal constitution. The union is not a league of states, nor in the states is the agencies of the union deriving powers from each other. Both union and the states are created by the Constitution. Both derive their respective authority from the Constitution. And here, unfortunately, uh, I felt a little sorry because I am the 2009 member of parliament here. Clearly, this is a huge legacy that we have been blessed to have. But I would like to put on record two people who have not been mentioned by the BJP today, who I have been highly influenced by in my parliamentary work, who come from the BJP, but I still feel that they were one of the tallest leaders and excellent, extraordinary parliamentarians who we looked up to. One was Honorable late Sushma Swarajji, and second was she Arun Jaitley, who constantly talk about cooperative federalism. It's not on this side or that side. Good work has to be established. So this building that we are all sitting in today, it was the Herbert Baker who opened this in 18 January 1927. And this building was built by Stan Stone. You know, Dushan Singh ji comes from Dholpur. And fortunately enough, SP Bagel ji is here from Agra. So Agra and Dholpur have contributed substantially to build this building. So we should thank the contribution of Agra and Dholpur for this. And thousands and thousands of Indian artisans, who we are so proud of, which teach us about our legacy, have contributed for this work. While we are here, everybody talked about Panditji, President Rajendra Prasad. They, these are walls which the Honorable Prime Minister, or every wall, every tile, every bench has a story to tell. They can't articulate it, but they have so many stories, decisions, controversies that these walls of this beautiful parliament have seen. And I would definitely like to put on record that besides, of course, all the Prime Ministers, which the Honorable Prime Minister said, but there were people like C. Ram, Ram Gopal Chari ji, Sarvapalli Radha Krishna ji, Sardar Patel, Y. B. Chavan, C. D. Deshmukh, Madhu Dandaute, Pranam Mukherjee ji. In this debate, can, we'll be completely incomplete if we don't talk about Radha Mukherjee, who we all learned so much from here while we were sitting here. Sir. While we talk about various, lot of debate has gone about which bill. They did a lot of good work, we did a lot of good work. So nobody can take away from each other here. But I definitely like to make a few suggestions while we are here. See, sir, the average age, this is something for us to deliberate, which I'd like to highlight. These are just observations and suggestions for us to deliberate as a team. That the average age of today's parliament is much older than when we really started. 
and this is one of the youngest countries. So this is something we, uh, whichever side you sit on, must think about this factor for sure. Plus, the women MPs, I would like most of these women here today have been asking about the women reservation bill. My friend Kani Moli, Dimple, Europe, everybody who's sitting here has been concerned about it. And all the parties are concerned and would support it. But there was a question Rakesh Singhji raised, which I'd just like to put the record straight. That he said, itne saalon se aapke sarkar ki aapne kya kiya? The first woman president of India, Pratibha Tai Patel, was from the Congress. The first prime minister of this country, a woman, Indira Gandhi ji, was from the Congress. The first speaker who was a woman was Meera Kumar ji, was from the Congress. So this is what he's done. And I would like to put one more thing on record, which probably Rakesh Singh ji missed out, that the women's reservation bill was also brought out. Unfortunately, we didn't have the numbers, so we couldn't pass it. That was also brought by the Congress. And the late Rajiv Gandhi ji and the then Chief Minister of Maharashtra, Sharad Pawar, were the first people who brought 33% reservation in every panchayat in this country. I'm very proud to say that Maharashtra was the first state to bring it to 33% and then we raised it to 50%. So this is what has been done for women and I take this opportunity that since we are all thinking here, deliberating here, 50% of India's population is women. So why don't we all deliberate in the new building and maybe the first decision that the Honorable Prime Minister can take is ask and we all support him if he brings in the reservation for women in Parliament and in Assemblies. Yes. We all wholeheartedly. They should bring it. So there is another small observation which I would like to make. Please don't take it negatively. But this is the first session, as I mentioned, which has no deputy speaker. This must be the only session since independence where there has been no deputy speaker only so term, only, only term, term only term which has not had a deputy so i wish meghwal ji was just here but i would like to bring it to his and prahlad ji's notice that he should take this issue up that naye building mein ja rahe to please even if it's for a few months we don't know when you are announcing election but this is a record that there has been no deputy speaker in this term so this is not something i think any of us should support and Lok Sabha seating, sir. This is another suggestion I'd very humbly like to make, that the Lok Sabha seatings keep going up and down. The, in 1956 was the longest, which is 151 days. So why can't we do have more days? We are all happy to, what do we get elected for, to come here and deliberate and make sure we serve the nation. So isn't there something we can, Supreme Court also works, and sometimes these ordinances which this government constantly brings, this is a record the amount of ordinances this government has got. So why don't we have more parliament dates? Why does government need to bring so many ordinances? And if there are such hurry, call for parliament. We, instead of having four sessions, have six sessions. What is the problem? The other thing is the number of voters have gone up. So constituencies are becoming huge now. So is that something that the government would, this is a very positive suggestion I'd like to make the government. The constituencies are going from 23 lakhs to 25 lakhs. Impossible for an MP to manage even with the MP lakhs that we get. So is there something that we can all deliberate in and see? Because anyway, there are more seats coming there. Can there be another suggestion is stronger committees? The committees are wonderful. They do very good work. But can we have stronger committees, give them more authority? Could that be another suggestion? Another suggestion I'd like to make is question hour, sir. Question hour is something even Om Birla ji has always recommended in our all-party meetings. That can we find a consensus that that's one hour I would like to recommend. As an MP, I would write, that's one place we can really take the government to task. So can we unanimously suggest this? that no question hour, whoever sitting on which side should be disrupted. So this is something we should all consider, I think. Even when you're here. Even when you're here. We have seen him in the uh, well many times, sir. So another suggestion I'd like to make is private members' bill. Private members' bill, don't be hubris. Private members' bill, sir. May it is a lot of MPs work very hard and do a lot of work to bring those bills, but they're almost toothless. So can we strengthen that part where there is more meaning, more visibility, more authority in those bills? Maybe we can debate them, deliberate them, and come. Otherwise, we, it's just a piece of document that we argue with it, but it goes nowhere. So I think that's one legislation we must look into and see what more we can do. So even the opposition, I know it's a numbers game, but many times they are in the 
they are in a treasury bench they get hours to discuss their ministers speak for 90 minutes sometime and we are the opposition so if rakesh singh ji really wants wo get it a saksham opposition chahiye like madhu dandav teji hame aur thoda waqt de dijiye we will make some very good suggestions which will be productive i have only not criticized i have only given you suggestions to to mujhse akele nahi sabko thoda vishwas rakhiye hum pe hum log aur de denge Sir, I think another thing which we need to do is the media. The Honourable Prime Minister was very gracious to the media today. And he, would, he said that the media we need to encourage for the time they put in. The media is not allowed here. So why can't we see what more visibility or what better way we can work with the media? Sir, another point I'd like to make is the support team, the Secretariat, Library and Research work. With new technology coming in, is there more ways we can find out whether the research team can work better with every parliamentarian here, where the funds need to go up. India has a large budget, so why not we spend more money on the research that the, and the library more for research people in this uh, thing. I think that would really make a lot of help and support to all the members of parliament, sir. Sir, another point I would like to bring to your notice is that Maharashtra has contributed substantially to the chair. I mean, the Honourable Prime Minister was very kind to take Malwankar Ji's name, but I would like to put it on record that Shivraj Patil Ji, Manohar, Zoshi Sir, Sumitra Mahajan Ji, he mentioned, but she was Miss Maharashtra, Mrs. Madhya Pradesh. So she was our daughter from Maharashtra who got married into Madhya Pradesh. So we have had a long legacy of very good parliamentary work. So I feel that Maharashtra has contributed substantially and we are very proud to be integrated in this temple of democracy for it to be fair and to be just. That's what which our constitution wants. Now, Rakesh ji's two small points I'd like to clarify. He talked about Bhrashtachar. Rakesh ji, I'm completely with you. Aap Bhrashtachar ke liye konsi bhi inquiry laga dijiye. We will support you 100% because I remember the Honorable Prime Minister coming to Maharashtra aaye the. Aur tab NCP ke baare mein unhone ek statement kiya tha Prime Minister ji ne. It's a naturally corrupt party. और उन्होंने दो इंक्वायरी के बारे में कहा था एक इरिगेशन स्कैम के बारे में और दूसरा एक बैंक के बारे में आई रिक्वेस्ट यू विथ फोल्डेड हैंड्स विथ फुल ह्यूमिलिटी कि माननीय प्रधानमंत्री जी की जो इच्छा है आप पूरी कर दीजिए आई विल सपोर्ट इट होल हार्टेडली सो आपने जो भ्रष्टाचार का जो उठा, उठाया था प्लीज आप कर लीजिए वी विल सपोर्ट यू होल हार्टेडली ये दोनों ने और चार भी है कोई एसीबी जी है और बहुत सारे है ना अदर थिंग दैट यू सेट अबाउट द कांग्रेस विच आई रिपीट दैट दिस इज नॉट अबाउट रिलेशनशिप भाई तो मेरे आठ भाई है पार्लियामेंट में एक थोड़ी है सो so, my suggestion to you is there are many such cases which the honorable prime minister was very deeply pained by so i understand his pain unka jo dukh hai bhrashtachar ke bare mein unko jo karna hai wo puri taakat se hum unke sath khade rahenge so is any such things he wants to do in maharashtra we will wholeheartedly support him and we will want to see where is his debates gone and another thing that he said that congress ke bare mein sabse zyada bjp ka aap dekhe hai to it's very congress heavy आज अगर आप महाराष्ट्र में या इधर यहाँ भी जब देखें ना तब बीजेपी कांग्रेस के वाले पुराने एनसीपी पुराने वो आपके यहाँ हमारे से ज्यादा है हमारे यहाँ नए लोग आ रहे हैं लेकिन आपके यहाँ ज्यादा है सो आई थिंक यू रियली नीड टू री इंस्पेक्ट तब जैसे साठ साल में आपने किया किया साठ साल में जिन्होंने जिन्होंने जो जो किया ना वो आप सारी वॉशिंग मशीन उस साइड में है इस साइड में अभी कोई नहीं रहा सो वी आर वेरी हैप्पी बिकॉज वी आर कम्प्लीटली विथ यू बिकॉज वी आर मोस्टली वेरी ऑनेस्ट committed to the cause why we joined politics why did we all come to this temple of democracy we came to this temple of democracy not here to just do a tutu mai mai we genuinely wanted to influence policy to serve this nation for the betterment yahan baitho ya yahan baitho acha hi sochenge na desh ke liye aisa thodi kahenge ki ek gur ek dusre ke khilaf kuch sochenge so i think the larger picture i would like to finish my speech by quoting somnath banerji uh, somnath chatterjee ji who was here for 10 terms I said the greatness of Parliament lies not just in the majestic building, but is derived from sustained by quality of debates that take place inside the house. Okay, so I think we take this opportunity that I am eternally grateful and people from Baramati who gave me this opportunity to stand here because I have no identity here. My identity is my constituency and people. So I am eternally grateful to be a part of this esteem or. place which is a temple of democracy and i commit myself to working here and working with there within the rules of the constitution thank, thank you vk news rashtra ke naam